being in the engine room, you don't get to see the war. But on one occasion where we had been standing four on and four off for days on end, you get awfully tired. You don't, you don't get to sleep. And uh, coming up out of the engine room, the first place you could find where there was a little draft blowing, you'd lay down and go to sleep. Well, if you could, you'd get all the way to your rack. So we were at condition one easy, which meant I could go to my rack. Well, my rack was all the way aft and all the way down. It's compartment C312. We were right above the screws. I got back to my rack, took my shoes off, took my pants off, and laid in my rack. Um, my rack was second rack up, right? One on the bottom, one in the middle, and then one up above. I was sound asleep when the general alarm went off. And I don't think I heard any of it until the last bong, right? When it goes bong, 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 you've heard it. Well, by the time I got my pants on, got my shoes on, I couldn't go forward from my sleeping compartment because the watertight door in the bulkhead had already been secured. And under war conditions, it's a court-martial offense to open a watertight door that's been dogged. So uh, I couldn't go aft because there was no aft way to go. I could go up through a, companion, a, a ladder way that went from our quarters up into the chief's quarters. And in the chief's quarters, I couldn't go forward either, but I could go aft. Now, I told you, I'm all the way aft on the ship. And the aft bulkhead had a, a doorway in it opened out onto a catwalk, which was just below the round of the, of the flight deck, the aft end of the flight deck. And you step out onto that catwalk, you're looking down onto the fantail of the ship. On the fantail is a 40 millimeter quad. I stepped out, got onto that catwalk, and looked down, and just as the quad starts to speak, it's pointing up, there's a, a, a bomber coming out of the clouds, diving right for our, our ship, right at the gun, really. They, they must have killed the, the pilot, but the airplane didn't explode or blow up or come apart. The airplane hauled up and did this. On our port quarter was the Enterprise. That airplane landed on the forward elevator of the Enterprise and put her out of, the, out of commission for the rest of the war. And I stood there and watched that happen. 